I woke up this morning to a post-Thanksgiving surprise. I'm about to spill some tennis tea while drinking some tea. For those of you who haven't heard about the drama that occurred in the tennis world overnight, USA lost to Italy 2-1 to one in the Davis Cup event. If you don't know what Davis Cup is, it is an international team event in men's tennis where top players from one country play against players from another country. Normally, tennis is an individual sport, so playing as a team while representing your country is a big deal. To give you some background about the USA versus Italy matchup, the format is two singles and one doubles. Singles is played first, and if there's a tie at 1-1, then doubles will be played as the decider to see which team moves on. The singles were tied 1-1. One one. Taylor Fritz of USA beat Lorenzo Musetti of Italy, and Francis Tiafo of USA lost to Lorenzo Senego of Italy. So they had to play doubles as the decider. Tommy Paul and Jack Sog of USA lost to Simone Bellelli and Fabio Fognini of Italy, 4-6, 4-6. This is where all the drama started unfolding. The loss caused many people all over the world, including top ATP pro players, to react. Standing out from the tons of tweets and replies, in particular is one tweet from Braden Schnur, who reached top 100 in his tennis career. This tweet led a couple players from the actual USA Davis Cup team to reply and made it even more personal. So why were people so riled up about USA's defeat? The main reason is because people question Team USA's captain Marty Fish's decision to exclude this one American player from the finals team who helped them get there in the first place. His name is Rajiv Ram. You might have heard his name recently because he literally just won the doubles Nitto ATP finals, which essentially means you're the best doubles team at the end of the year. He's also currently ranked at number three in doubles, which is significantly higher than Jack Sog and Tommy Paul at the moment. Additionally, a country's team is allowed to bring five players to the event, but for some reason, Team USA only brought four. Why not let Rajiv Ram be part of the team, especially since he played in prior Davis Cup events? My thoughts on the whole situation? Let's go back to that tweet that started all of this drama. Having played against a couple of the U.S. Davis Cup team players like Jack Salk and Tommy Paul, I can definitely say that they're super talented and I could definitely see how they have a big ego. I think everyone who gets to that kind of level has some sort of ego. And I think that along with the age difference that Rajiv and the other players have, it could create some sort of tension or awkwardness between the team. And maybe the younger players thought that Rajiv would mess up their vibe. <laughs> I personally think that Rajiv should have been at the event and since he just come off winning the Nitto ATP finals and doubles, I personally think he should have played. But who knows, maybe even if he did play, they would still lose. Two things that bothered me in the aftermath of this whole situation is, one, Marty Fish said in an interview that Rajiv and him are really good friends. I just think if you're really good friends, you shouldn't do that to him. At least invite him and let him go, you know, put him on the team. And two, Tommy Paul tweeted and now has since deleted this tweet and it said, doubles number one or 100, he struggles against singles players ranked one through a thousand singles or doubles. I just think that's pretty disrespectful of him just to tweet that. Tommy Paul's a better singles player, but Rajiv has also had great accomplishments. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. Do you think Rajiv should have played? Thank you guys for watching. See y'all in the next one. Whew, that was some good tea.